Well, I don't know what is going on, but these four helicopters yesterday flying right over my area, they were so loud. Um, it's unusual to see four back to back here, but I want to show you some captures that I have taken. You see what is within the circle? These are microwave, intense microwave hits on the coast of South Carolina and it goes on up into mid or central um, South Carolina and that though it's faint you can see it that is a extremely low frequency hit to upstate South Carolina. Victorus Libertas' channel is where I got this from. This was in uh, just this past week. And interesting, whoa, Jesus, every single time. Wow, okay, I'm telling you, everything that I do gets disrupted almost all the time now, which is really very frustrating. So let's get back to what is happening here. Now, I'm showing you South Carolina because that is where I live. And what I have been noticing here, things are changing, not in a good way. And in fact, I heard yesterday from a neighbor that they are experiencing very often a dizziness which they can't understand. Well, the dizziness, Wi-Fi, smart meters, cell towers, cell phones, extremely low frequencies which we are seeing made visible very clearly on these sites, but the microwaves here in Anderson, South Carolina. I have never seen them so visible in the sky virtually every single day. Now, as I am doing this video, I am getting a migraine without the headache. The, the lights that shoot off in your vision, the periphery of your vision. <laughs> well, you just keep going on, right? That's what we have to do. We just keep marching forward. This was yesterday. I have so much video of pretty much every single day, just really within the past month. Of these microwaves, I see them all the time now, which leads me to believe that they are ramping up these frequencies and it is affecting all life. But what I've been noticing in the people around here, it's scary. The depression, the anxiety, the violence, the aggression, the hostility. Let's just say that I'm seeing in people a, a, a behavior that we used to see or we didn't see actually it was restrained now it's right out in the open uh, they have no restraint behaving in ways that it's very obvious that something is very wrong I had a woman a neighbor who came over three times to use my phone last night I don't even know her name it was a domestic violence issue, the police, I had to call twice, I, all right, I'm, I can't get into it because it was very upsetting. I've had neighbors move in, don't even know them, and they're talking about how they are suicidal. In our second conversation, another neighbor 
recently told me that she wants to die. She has nothing to live for. Very depressed. Very sick. She told me yesterday that she is experiencing dizziness now, frequently, every single day. I, too, am feeling not myself, quite depressed, I'll be honest, though I can't really point to any particular reason for that because there are too many um, reasons. But I know myself. And what I've been feeling is not me. I am experiencing dizziness. My balance is off. I'm experiencing more frequent vertigo episodes, more unusual headaches. And I'm saying this because I, I, I read the comments and I know that a lot of you are also experiencing the same thing. Now, take a look at this. Uh, these frequencies enhance violence, homicide, and accelerate aging in all life, humans and non-human plants. It certainly does cause the body stress. You may not feel it, but you are stressed from these microwaves, especially the pulsating ones. But my God, this, our sky, our atmosphere, has been permanently altered. Every day I see pink horizons or orange and or orange and black. But I am seeing behavior that seems, um, well, it's causing concern. It's definitely causing concern. And I'm going to now get into some of the damage that these pulsating frequencies are doing to our brain. The pulses are far more harmful than a continuous wave. Even weak pulses cross the blood-brain barrier and do damage to the cortex the hippocampus, as well as the basal ganglia. Uh, what is the importance of the cerebral cortex? That's kind of like the supercomputer in your brain. It plays a role in neural processing, like memory, perception, attention, awareness, consciousness, thought, language, problem solving. I, I literally, every single day, I go through long periods where I don't even know what I am doing. The lack of concentration that I've been experiencing is really hard. Um, I used to be able to put a lot of information together and communicate it back rather easily. I get confused now. But it also is it has a role in advanced motor function and social ability. The hippocampus uh, associated the role associated with feelings and reactions helps process and retrieve declarative memory and spatial memory. Spatial memory, you know, when you drive to a store, you remember how to get to that store. And declarative facts, events, that part helps you memorize facts. And it also plays a role in taking short-term memory and turning it into long-term memory. Uh, it also is 
one of the few places in the brain that generate new nerve cells. So when that's damaged, a whole lot of problems can develop in the individual. The basal ganglia, it's the part of the brain that controls movement, learning, coordinates motivation with body movement, balance problems, um, and it also inhibits behavior in complex social interactions. Degeneration can lead to Parkinson's, cerebral palsy, Huntington's disease, deficits in cognition, and behavior control. Look at this sky, guys. We're breathing all of this in. This isn't just staying up there. It comes down. It's in our air. Look at all of these microwaves that you are seeing and the pulsating frequencies. And there are some who live in areas where you're not getting pummeled every single day with the aerosol spraying. And the concentration of cell towers and Gwen towers and antennas is less than a lot of other places. The concentration here is great. So the saturation, the 24-7 of being bombarded with microwave radiation, extremely low frequencies, the pulsating frequencies, you can't escape. But degeneration of, of the basal ganglia, it can also uh, lead to deficits in behavior control. Uh, it's linked to Tourette syndrome, schizophrenia, OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, ADHD, attention deficit, hyperactivity, and PAP syndrome. Never heard of this. This was interesting to learn. PAP syndrome. It's characterized by an unusual lack of motivation. And it also um, the individual ignores usual social and moral motivations. Without the basal ganglia's influence, the frontal lobe simply stops planning for the future. It's kind of like having a lobotomy. The individual has no internal motivation. They can still be motivated externally by other people, but their internal motivation is gone. How many of you, of you are experiencing that? Yes, we are in trouble. And I will say, reduce your exposure. If you are still living in a home with Wi-Fi, I, I, I'm really, when you know the dangers, when you know that Wi-Fi is pulsating frequencies. If you're not feeling the effects now, first of all, it does not mean that your body doesn't feel it. You're in chronic stress. You will eventually become symptomatic. If you're still using that cell phone, putting it right smack up to your ear, you are using something incredibly dangerous that pulsates frequencies into your brain. It's causing damage every time you're using that iPhone, smartphone, it's causing damage to your brain. You have Wi-Fi in your home. You live in a dangerous environment. You have kids, you are providing for your children a dangerous environment to grow up in.
because children are far more vulnerable to all of these toxins in the microwave radiation. So yeah, I get a little bit passionate because I am hypersensitive to the frequencies. I know what it's doing to me. I know what it's doing to other people. And I want to see people really care about this. I don't want to be pulled down by people who just don't care about their own health, the health of others. We're lifted up when people care. So this was, you know, just in the last couple of days. It's extremely toxic here. And that toxicity it's really taking its toll and revealing itself. So that's all I got for you tonight. I hope everybody is okay. Let me know how you are feeling. Thanks, guys. Good night.